Welcome in to some contract signing, and the first team up will be Port Elizabeth. So, um, pretty much we've got to sign five players in this um, sort of window. Um, Mr. Rhodes, has he played, played all around the world? So, he's played quite a few games in Queensland, province. Okay, so we'll sign Dante Rhodes up for a three year deal. Uh, Wessels, we've got to keep Wessels in that team, really. One year contract for him. Uh, Dupacy as well. We'll give Dupacy another year. And yeah, we've really got enough budget to get two really good quality players. So Shut Up Khan will be moved on. We'll sign these three players and see what we can pick up in the market here. Just get a couple of decent, among promising players, maybe the way to go. But we'll see. We'll see what we can pick up. This is going to be harder than what I thought. Um, I'm going to try and sign Gerald Kotzia. Uh, very experienced. Um, someone that I'd love to get in the team. So whether or not he takes... Not with this offer. I'm going to really try and push for that. Even if we miss out on a couple of players. Uh, Centurion had better prospects. So we do miss out. Um, I just wanted to show you that process anyway. Um, as we continue to hunt some players. So let's get back to the uh, bidding. So we're just been um got some bowling stocks i forgot that i um didn't have the record button on um but we did pick up uh thulani light um 18 wicks to 19.89 um just a guy that we can sort of build up and we've got eugene uh bernard a um, couple of specialists in the format so he's got a best of five for five so that bolsters up our bowling attack we only got the one all-rounder Effectively, that does concern me a little bit i'm hoping some of my other players get picked up for um sw district so they get that experience but that brings a wrap to the Port Elizabeth squad for the season. So we'll be looking to improve on last season. Obviously, Ben De Bruin. Um, big year for him, obviously, with uh, Port Elizabeth. He's got 450s at average 17. He had a great season last season. I'm going to bolster those numbers up. But yeah, the next team that we'll be doing is SW Districts. Let's see how we get on. You know, a wee bit low on the budget, uh, which does concern me because we have had to lower our coaching youth and everything like that. But we'll have a look at the signings. We'll have to sign Ahanu Vajun for another year. Claude Varane, I will probably... It's hard to know. Rickleton and him are sort of getting on a fair age. Do we just sort of replenish a wee bit again? Uh, Rue Pretorius will give him another um, one-year deal. We might give him a... Yeah, we'll give him another one-year deal. He was not too bad last season. 350 is an average of 41. It's valuable stuff there. Uh, Sada, we will bring Sada back um, for another season. Um, Dupacy. Dupacy is an interesting one because he didn't really play too much for us. Like, he wasn't very influential. So I think we're going to move the uh, leg spinner on. Bryson will be picked up for another uh, year. Budget's 2.5. Might have to sign Dupacy just because of our budget constraints. Oh, Rain, yeah, we're going to make sure we have our um, batsmen here. So, yeah, we're just going to have to re-sign what we can. I think we're going to be a bit... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We've got 22 players in that squad. We can sign a reserve overseas player as well, which means it would free us up to get um, a youth player. That's what we, how we might do it. So that'll be our uh, signings for the main team. We'll get that reserve player first and then we'll try to get a good sort of promising youth player um if we can find anyone from that um there will be great we'll you'll see us shortly with some signings so i'm putting all my focus into trying to get a backup all rounder for sada when he's away so we're going to try and get abdul wazi uh just handy uh first class um sort of numbers and can do a bit with the ball too so i'm hoping he signs Come on, get us over the line here. Eastern Province are after him as well. Ah, Eastern Province. That's the second time that's happened in this video. Uh, so we are a bit light in terms of the um, options that we can sort of provide uh, here. We do need an all-rounder, which is not going to be easy to pick up. So we'll be back again. We're going to sign the experience um, of Kennedy. Graham Kennedy probably won't play too much, but... Those are, those are handy numbers, you know, if you need to call someone in. He's played a bit for Ireland as well. Like, he hasn't got great numbers for them, but he's he's decent Irish domestic cricketer. He'll be sort of a good backup for our reserve. And this is because there's a wee bit of spin on the youth player that we'll pick up, and that'll be our squad. 
Gonna go for a 17 year old talent. Uh, so congratulations to Ishmael Miller. A uh, couple of uh, decent scores there. So he's, his averages weren't too bad. So he averaged 62.33, 56, and 43. So that, that will wrap up our squad. We've got a decent um, team, I feel, that will compete. Uh, at this level. So we've got a few guys contracted. Obviously, Monarch, Gain, and Ferreira got contracts. Got contracts for Mulder, um, Howell, and Gibbs. But yeah, team um, building uh, very nicely. You'll join us, guys, for the opening game of the first class season. So join us there. Smash the like button. Share with a friend. We'll see you next time.